Hey guys, welcome back. Official Android Pie update based on Hydrogen OS is now out for OnePlus 5 and 5T users. This is basically the same closed beta ROM that we have seen in the news a week or two back. So this is the boot animation for the Pi version of Hydrogen OS. There is no initial setup because I dirty flash the ROM. We are back to the OS now. First let me go to settings about phone. As you can see we have a new UI. Hydrogen OS version is 9.0. Android version is 9 Pi. The ROM comes with a very outdated security patch level of September 5 and the build date is November 12. If you had dirty flash like me then there will be Google Play Store installed by default. You can add Google account, download apps without any issues. But if you had clean flash the ROM then you need to manually install the Google Play Store APK. The ROM comes with a lot of bloatware but good thing is that most of the bloatware can be uninstalled. Alternatively you can also flash a dbloater script via TWRP to get rid of the unnecessary junk. First the launcher has been updated, it's the OnePlus launcher version 3.1.2, new UI for the OnePlus shelf and the app drawer settings are now shifted to the launcher settings now. This is the new dialer and contacts app. Camera app is the same, clicking pictures and video recording is working fine with portrait mode for both front and rear cameras but the camera app doesn't have any nightscape mode feature. Next a redesigned quick setting and notification panel with rounded quick toggles. New settings panel, the tab categories like device and personal are removed now and you have a search panel at the top and the tab icons are changed. First under Wi-Fi and internet tab there is new OnePlus roaming feature which provides global internet access services. So here's how to use it. First select the package you want and click to buy and finish the payment. Once you arrive at the destination country, enable the package under the order tab. The display tab is very much same as before but now you got the Pi version of adaptive brightness and the default theme name has been changed to colorful. Next under apps and notifications, notification tab, you have DND mode where you can control the behavior of notifications, add exceptions to calls, text, events and reminders and also schedule it. Additionally you can find the list of the recently sent app notifications and you can also manually turn on and off the notifications for a particular app here. Next is sound tab and unlike the stock pie there is no option to control the call volume here. This is the new volume slider, by default you can control the media volume. There is an option to select the media output device and you can directly go to the sound settings tab within the volume slider. Next under buttons and gestures tab, now you can quickly activate the assistant tab by holding the power button for 0.5 seconds and if you continue to hold it for 3 seconds or more, you activate the regular power menu. There is also an option to show the advanced reboot options in the power menu which can be enabled under the developer options. And next you can long press the fingerprint sensor to take pictures. Under navigation bar and gestures, as you can see the hide the navigation bar option has been replaced with swipe up on home button gesture. The gestures didn't work for me initially as I have dirty flash the ROM but once I clear the storage data for the OnePlus launcher, the gestures work fine. With single swipe up you can access the new horizontal recent app tray. The clear all button is at the bottom. You can swipe down on a tab to open it, swipe up to close it and when you hit the three dot menu on any supported tab, you can access the split screen feature. The pill can also be used as a slider to switch between the recently opened tabs and a quick swipe from the pill to the right will take you to the previous tab. One thing to note is that this swipe up gesture won't work from the app drawer. Next the battery tab, new automatic battery saver which can be turned on at any percentage from 5 to 75% and adapt to battery which can limit the battery for apps that you don't use often. Next the same storage tab and under security and lock screen, lock screen preferences, now you can enable lockdown feature which turns off smart lock, fingerprint unlocking and notifications from the lock screen. Next cloud sync is hydrogen OS feature, accounts tab and under utilities tab you have the same gaming mode, parallel apps, app locker, there is scheduled power on and off option, same pocket mode and one plus switch. And there is also new OnePlus Laboratory tab and under it you can activate smart board feature to fully take the advantage of the larger ROM. So that's it about the features, the ROM is very smooth, the calls, data, VLT, video calling everything is good, dual band Wi-Fi is also working, no issues with FP scanner or face unlock either. In order to install the ROM you need to have an unlocked bootloader and a TWRP recovery. So if you have a locked bootloader or don't have any plans to unlock the bootloader, just wait few days for the auction OS version of the Pi. 
About the installation, initially I tried siloading the ROM via local upgrade on my locked bootloader 5T, it didn't work and then I tried siloading the same after unlocking the bootloader, again it failed and finally I had to flash the blue spark latest TWRP to get the ROM installed successfully. All you need to do is unlock the phone's bootloader, flash out boot to the TWRP recovery, then connect your phone to the PC and transfer the Pi ROM zip to your phone. Once the ROM has been successfully transferred, go to the install tab, select ROM and swipe to confirm flash and once done reboot your phone. About the benchmarks, NT2 version 7's code is 2,1735, Geekbench 4 single core code is 1,9,4,1 and multi core code is 6,6,4,0. That's all for now, thanks for watching and I will see you all soon in my next video.